Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I feel the need, the need for book shopping today. So in my defense, I've been really good this month. And instead of like just keeping up my winning streak because I've only bought one book and one manga this month, I figured it's time to break that and buy some books. So I think this is gonna be maybe like a two day vlog or maybe I'll do the whole weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm planning on going to Indigo today and BMV tomorrow and see what I can find. Like I just wanna make the best of all the stores being open because I don't know how long they're gonna be open for and I just don't want to not be able to go to the bookstore while it was open. And I do need to return because I bought the new cover of Graceling a while back and they sent me the old cover and then they did send me another version when I emailed them so I just need to return the old one it's sunny so I think it'll be nice going out for a walk so yeah this is a come book shopping with me I've done one of these before and you guys seem to like it so it'll be exciting as for what I'm planning on buying I'm not trying to buy too many books but I do want to buy a physical copy of A Dark and Hollow Star just because I read it on audio this month and I really liked it and I just really want a copy it's just such a pretty book and I really want a copy especially with my girl on the cover I'm not saying her name because I can't even pronounce her name but it's fine but other than that I don't think there's anything I desperately need but I do really feel like browsing so we'll see if I end up getting anything this is a book buying vlog but I guess I'll also talk about what I'm reading throughout today and tomorrow I am in the middle of four books but the only one I'm not annotating and listening to on audio is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Christo and I am over halfway through this. Um, I am enjoying this. It's keeping my attention. I'm interested to see what happens. So I will listen to the audiobook of this while on my walk there and back and we'll see. I'm in the middle of so many books. I feel like I'm almost done with so many books. I'm almost done with the first book in the Inheritance trilogy. Um, I think I have about 70 pages of that. I have the same amount, I think 70 pages of The Picture of Dorian Gray, about that much. And I also have about 100 or so pages of the newest Diana Reborn book. I just love the series so much and I'm enjoying this so much. So we'll see but I think I'll stick to this just because I do want to finish this so that I can film my vlog update because this is one of the books on my fixed TBR anyway that is this opening clip and I'll see how much I can film I feel like I'm always more confident filming in BMV but not as much in Indigo but again we'll see and I will see you guys in my next clip it's almost 4 p.m. so I'm heading out now just so that it might be sunny while I walk to the store but while I walk back it'll be nice and cool um, as opposed to it being nice and cool while I walk and then like really cold and dark while walking back I don't know so I'm gonna go and we'll see well we will see okay bye Is this lighting bad? Is this better? Who knows? Hi. Ugh, it's me. My arms hurt, so I'm trying to be as lazy as possible without looking like a potato. But I think I'll have to give up on the potato part because I, I am potato. Potato is me. Hello. It is a few hours later and I finally got home and I miscalculated. So to walk in the heat, walk back in the heat. It's so weird because like the patches that are sunny are just scalding. Hot, and then the patches that are shady are just like freezing cold but I still enjoyed myself uh, I feel like I haven't gone out and walked in such a long time and I really like the walk to that indigo just because it, I walked through campus to go to that indigo like it's fun to walk through campus just because I haven't gone to a physical class in more than a year now and also I just won't because I'm graduating in the next few months which is kind of sad but whatever it's fine but yeah I took a few clips but I feel like there's so many people working at indigo like and they're all just so helpful but like and part of me knows that that's their job but like the awkward little bean in me that just wants to browse keeps getting kind of just like 
flustered every time someone comes up to me and because I have ear pods in you really can't hear anything so they tapped me and I literally fell almost fell into the bookshelf it was that bad but I know it's their job so it's fine but yeah I tried to take some clips but there's just so many people and I just felt really awkward which is why I like BMV because there's like four people working there the store is huge anyway I bought some books I think both the books aren't surprises if you've seen the clips the first one is a book I went for and I just I love this cover a lot the book is so heavy and the, the feeling is really metallic for some reason and I just feel like that works and also my girl Narciss Narcikea Narcissus Museum her she is so pretty I love her um, I think she was my favorite character. I can just stare at her for ages. She's so pretty. Anyway, that's beside the point. This is just one of those books that I want to collect because I feel like this is one of those books that I will reread. Especially when the sequel comes out, I want to reread this before that. Okay, I'm just I, I keep staring at her. Anyway, so like this is just such a fun series. Again, I, part of me bought this because I wanted to support a Toronto author. All the little references to Toronto that you get in this, especially to my campus because the main character's father is a professor so like she meets him on campus and like those little things when you recognize the store or or you know the street or actually the indigo that I walked to today was like the Sealy Spring Court and it's just so cute those little references I really love the characters were so fun and the sapphic relationship I was really really into so I'm really excited I think it's a duology but Either way, I'm just really excited to have this physical copy and reread it. And the second one I think I showed off in a clip, and that is a Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin. Um, I read A Memory Called Empire a while back, and I just really enjoyed it. And I've heard from Katie that this is even better. And this one also has a sapphic relationship, which I was curious about in the first book, but I didn't really see. But in this one, I think it gets graphic and it gets good. So I'm keeping my hopes up for that. But yeah, this is science fiction. The first book just ended off on a really interesting note. Not exactly a cliffhanger, but not the way I expected it to end. So I'm interested to see how the second book goes. And I know Katie likes this better than the first book. And the first book was like a solid four star for me. So I'm interested to see how I like this. I was actually planning on pre-ordering this, but then I just didn't. Speaking of pre-orders, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I had pre-ordered The Unbroken and I picked store pickup because on this one day, my brain had the misfortune of telling me to take the walk. You wanna get some fresh air, you wanna walk through campus. So just, just press pickup instead of getting free shipping the way I get. Oh. Let's, we're not getting into it. So instead of getting free shipping, I picked store pickup for not just one, but three books that are pre-orders. And I was hoping that my pre-order for The Unbroken came in before I went to the store today, but it didn't. And in the book's defense, it doesn't come out for the next few days. But I went to Indigo and there were physical copies already. So I, I talked to someone and they were like, Oh yeah, if you cancel your order and buy it physically now, that should work. But I kind of got it on a sale and I got like $4 off and I refused to pay full price because I got $4 off. And also I think that there's something about authors not getting the money if um, the book is sold before release date. So I'm not taking my chances. That just means I'll have to go back to the bookstore next week. What a shame. What a misfortune. I cannot believe something like this would happen to me. I can't even act. Anyway, I have so many things to do today. I have to do my laundry because I'm on my last pair of everything. And I also haven't, like me just casually going to the bookstore, like I don't have an assignment due in like six hours. So I need to do my assignment also. And oh, also fun news, I did a lot of reading. On the way, I read almost 100 pages of To Kill a Kingdom. I have like little over 50 pages and I could have easily finished this if I kept listening because I listened to this on the way and while I was browsing but then while walking back I was like let me just switch over to this and I know I'll have to go through the last 70 pages and annotate it but I kind of wanted to see how it ended and I finished it and it was great I love this series I still don't think I love this book the first book in this as much as The Shadowed Sun which is the second book in the Dreamblood duology but I just really really loved this I love the characters and I loved the magic the gods it's just so interesting and part of me just wants to move into the next book even though I know that it takes place like a hundred years in the future maybe not a hundred years maybe like ten years I don't know something with a zero but part of me is just like should I just move on to the next book but also the other part of me is like you have so many books on your tbr can you just 
please calm down. But yeah, that is my book club pick. So I'm really excited to talk about it with Tammy, Katie, and Sophia. It's on Sophia's channel and I think it's in the first week of April. So I'm excited. Anyway, that is this update. It's 10 minutes long. Buying books just gives me the serotonin boost and I haven't felt this in a long time. And I just... This is so unhealthy. Anyway, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys tomorrow when I go to BMV. I'm excited. This is uh, this is so therapeutic. I have so many books that I want to sell, but they're only selling from like 10 to 11. And that's like middle of sleepy time for me. That would mean I would have to wake up at nine o'clock to get there by 10 o'clock. Or just even if I woke up at like 10 o'clock and got there just before it closed. No, no, it's not happening. I've accepted that my sleeping schedule is horrifying and just atrocious, but I know my limits. Hopefully one day they will move to buying books all day. But for now, I guess I'm just going to go buy more books and not sell any of the books that I already have. Anyway, I'm gonna go because once I turn on the camera, I just feel like I keep talking even if I have nothing to say. So I'm gonna go and I will see you guys in my next clip tomorrow, maybe. We'll see depending on how long this video is. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Bye. <laughs>been in the same spot for all three clips we're not gonna talk about it hi i almost said it's the next morning but it's like 3 p.m like i said it's the next day and i've had plans to go to bmv and i had plans to wake up early and none of that happened but i think i'm still gonna go it is saturday i don't know what my hair is doing today but it is saturday so i guess that means there'll be more people more of a line i'm not really the biggest fan of going places on the weekend just because there's just so many people but yeah hopefully there aren't too many people but also that means i may not be able to take too many clips just because it's awkward to film when there's a lot of people i look like a crazy person i slept a lot i don't know why i have dark circles but anyway it's just as sunny as yesterday so i'm excited to walk in the heat cue excitement i also need to buy groceries i needed to buy them yesterday but i just i don't know i walked all the way but like the idea of crossing the street to go to the grocery store was like just too much for me apparently but i do need to walk past the grocery store to get to bmv so i think i should be good but i need to buy like milk eggs iced tea nail polish essentials anyway um so i'm gonna go and i'm feeling some kind of way so i might just end up ordering food for dinner after i get back but we'll see i don't have too many expectations because the bmv just opened which means that they're going to have all the same books that they had before but maybe i'll find something maybe i'll find a little gem in the rough it's been a few days since bmv opened so maybe some people woke up at 10 o'clock in the morning to go sell some books hopefully fingers crossed we'll find something good and hopefully i will take some clips yeah goodbye
Hi. Ooh. Hello. Hello. It's me again. I feel like I need to convince you that I do get out of bed and I'm not always sitting in this exact spot of my bed. But you saw the clips from the bookstore. You know that I, you know that I got up. I've been home for a while. It's 6:30. I just realized that I need to start editing this if this is going up tomorrow. So I needed to first end this video, which I can't do without telling you what I bought at BMV and also what I read while I was going to BMV and coming back because I didn't mention that in the previous clip. Okay, um, I bought two more books. They're not like high priority TBR for me, but they were both really cheap and they're both books that I eventually do want to get to when I'm in more of a science fiction mood because both these books are science fiction. But the first one is Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. I do want to give Yoon Ha Lee a second go just because I did read Phoenix Extravagant and while that one wasn't exactly for me, I think this is their most well-known book and I think I have a higher chance of liking this. And it was only $4, so... Not complaining. The back of the book is kind of um, vague. Captain Kell is disgraced for her unconventional tactics. She gets a chance to redeem herself by taking back the fortress of the scattered needles from the heretics. Her best Hope is the undead tactician who has never lost a battle, who went mad in his first life, massacring two armies, one of them his own. Ooh, we love a good bloodthirsty love interest, I'm assuming. He's the love interest? Or maybe this book has no romance. That would be good as well. As the siege wears on, she must decide how far she can trust him because she might be his next victim. Okay, but from the back, it seems very character heavy. And I feel like Phoenix Extravagant was also character heavy. I'm interested to read this soon. It's 300 pages long, it's not very long. I might force Tammy to buddy read this with me because I know that she bought it recently as well. But yeah, I'm excited for this. And the second book I bought, if I hadn't found the physical copy for like five bucks, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Even though it is something that I do want to eventually read, I would have probably borrowed it from the library. But it is EXO by Fonda Lee. If you've been on this channel for a while, you do know that Fonda Lee is one of my favorite authors. I love the Rainbow Saga. This is her YA science fiction that I know really nothing about. I do know she published three science fiction books before Jade City and I think this is the first book in her duology. And then there's one standalone. The more I look at this cover, the more I think I don't like it. But I trust Fonda Lee. I do eventually want to get to all her other stuff. So I know next to nothing about this. It just says Earth isn't ours anymore. So I'm guessing it comes some kind of alien invasion story. It has been a century of peace since Earth became a colony of an alien race. So that's why I figured that there was some kind of alien invasion. So we follow one of the humans under this colony of aliens who is doing pretty well for himself. His father holds a prestigious government position. So he's doing pretty well until a routine patrol goes awry and Donovan is abducted by the human revolutionary group um, determined to end alien control. I think this is going to be a typical alien invasion rebellion story, but I'm interested to see how Fonda Lee adds her own twist to it. Left at the hands of terrorists who have more use for him dead than alive, the fate of Earth rests on Donovan's survival because if they kill him, it could spark another galactic war and Earth didn't win the last one. Okay, interesting enough. I'm not completely grabbing my attention, but it's Fonda Lee, so I'm really to give it a chance. As for what I read, I did finish The Picture of Dorian Gray, but I finished this in the morning before I left, and I really liked it. I feel like this is definitely one of my more liked classics, but I just wish it was longer because I feel like I mentioned this, but I wanted his descent into insanity to be explored a little more. I feel like the ending was really abrupt and I wanted to know more, but again, I feel like a huge thing about this is that it just leaves you with a lot of questions and a lot of ideas that you can explore. So really like this. I'm glad I had to read this for a class. I also finished, I can't find the physical, I've put the physical copy back in its shelf, but I did also finish To Kill a Kingdom and it took me like halfway through to get really hooked, but then I was really entertained by the end. It's nothing special, but I feel like it's just a really entertaining romance and I do have a thing for like pirate romances, so it was good. It was good. It was tropey enough, like if you're in the mood for that, if you're in the mood for a uh, hate to love, enemies to lovers, really tropey romance between a siren and a pirate prince, I would recommend. I think I'm sticking to like a 3.75, maybe 3.5 rating. Just enjoyment wise, I thought it was really fun. So that is another book that I finished. And with that, I don't know how much footage I have, maybe not a lot, but I think I'm gonna end this here and just try to salvage the amount of footage that I have just because I do need to edit it and put it up tomorrow. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope it was kind of entertaining. I know that there are still places where stores aren't open yet. So I hope you could live a little vicariously through me. Again, there were so many people 
people at BMW had to wait in line and I, there was a time limit for how long I could be there so I couldn't really take too many clips but I really tried there was this one time where I was filming a clip and I was like turning and I really just bumped into someone and they just looked at me like I had a problem and I, I was just so embarrassed but yeah I hope the clips that I got were good enough I feel a lot better after this little impromptu book buying spree and yeah if you read any of these books either the books that I'm reading right now or the books that I bought let me know what you thought about them that's all I have for this video all my links will be down below I post videos every Thursday and Sunday at 12 p.m. EST and I will see you guys in my next one bye